What's up everybody? Pumpkin here. So if you've played this meta at all, um, Monsters is terrible. Uh, that's really not too much of a surprise simply because, well, Northern Realms got significantly buffed. Like, significantly, they are tier 1 without a doubt. Northern Realms is really, really strong. Uh, and Monsters usually was not great against uh, Northern Realms, typically because, well, mon uh, Northern Realms plays lots of engines and Monsters play lots of point smashy cards and point smashy cards are bad against engines because point slamming typically doesn't have removal now with that said um i lost to a similar deck like this on ladder and i decided to give it a shot and it's actually not that bad uh, i would not say that this is a tier one deck i would not say that this is as good as like i don't know a northern realm stack or like an Ardle deck but it can pull its weight it can do well it can beat uh usurper it can beat syndicate it can beat northern realms it can beat uh it, it can be anything in theory um but yeah it's not terrible so if you're a monster player and you've had a rough time which i imagine you have because this meta is pretty bad for monsters uh basically every faction got buffs across the board and the monsters got uh, basically nothing uh, monsters got almost no buffs um yeah it's kind of unfortunate if you're a monster player yeah but this deck's pretty good um the idea of this deck is it's shoop and it plays lots of value cards so i'll go through it pretty quickly um Gernicora, nice thing about Gernicora, um Gernicora is a leader that allows you to go for two o's because it's very good in bleed scenarios so uh we're in a meta right now where people play combo-esque decks such as uh, dijkstra um that's the main one so being able to aggressively bleed is really nice and being getting bled is really nice too because uh if you get bled and you're playing gernicora typically you go a card up um so yeah shoop is obviously going to be in your shoop decks because well it's a shoop deck uh, Regis, it's a good card. Um, wasn't seeing a lot of play last patch, but because of full test and how strong he is, uh, banishing a commando saves you four points in a round uh, in the future. Also, there's a lot of portal decks right now that spawn uh, engines, so being able to remove those engines is quite nice. Carlo, removal's good. Carlo's good. Uh, Naglefire, this card is consistency. Uh, you, you do want to, if you're playing a shoop deck, you typically want to find shoop and play shoop so this obviously adds consistency uh it's also really good when your game plan is to 2-0 uh the idea is you draw this card in round one or two and you play it uh you pick the best gold for that scenario and you put a gold card on top of your deck this means that the next round which is round three so this is if you fail the 2-0 um you're top decking a gold so top decking a gold is really good um so yeah uh, bleeding, bleeding is just really good in this meta. Uh, I do it with most decks. It's just, it, it's so powerful because a lot of decks are running like multi-combo cards. So bleed, bleed strong. I highly recommend bleeding. Uh, Catacan is just a good value card. Goliath, this card got buffed, which is kind of nice. Um, you do want to play this later on. Uh, there's going to be a few games where this is like an MVP card. Uh, the death wish of this actually won me some games. Um, I obviously don't want to spoil it, so I'll keep my mouth shut. But yeah, sometimes you can use the Death Wish to your advantage um, if you think ahead of time. So it's a good card. 10 for H, pretty solid. Um, there's not a lot of lo uh, tall removal running around. Uh, well, eh, there's some. I mean, if you queue into Squayatel, there's going to be a lot of tall removal. But most other decks, I mean, even Nilfgaard, most of them have dropped like Leo from their list. They still run Peter. Um, Northern Realms runs Bloody Baron, which is tall-esque removal right if it's boosted but goliath's not boosted so it's not really an issue so goliath usually lives uh, with the exception of squayatel crones they're just high value very strong cards uh pogo or pugo a very good card with gernicora you play gernicora you play the fruit you play pogo in 10 points yeah it's good it's a good card uh do remember to play this at the beginning of the round otherwise it's gonna rng on the ping so yeah play this at the beginning queen of the night it's an okay card uh, actually, I'd say it's a little better than okay. Typically, if you're giving the bleed four and they don't knock the bleed four off, you're getting nine for seven. And nine for seven, it's not bad. All right? It's nothing to freak out about. But yeah, it's a pretty good value card. The Purify comes in handy from time to time. Um, because of Syndicate, you can knock off the bounty. So yeah, it's just a good value card. It doesn't really have any synergy with other cards. But yeah, it's just good value. Uh, Griffin, 
Solid card. Works well with your leader, Gurnacora. Uh, I will say if you are running into a lot of Usurper, uh, Usurper kind of hurts your deck. If you are running into a lot of Usurper, I would suggest dropping Griffin and just playing an Ice Giant. They are the same provisions, an easy swap. Uh, this way you don't have to have the uh, fruit for Griffin to get value. Granted, even if you don't have the fruit, uh, you, you do have other targets. You have like uh, Ancient Foglets and Archspore, so do keep that in mind. But yeah, if you're queuing into a lot of Usurper, uh, I would suggest dropping Griffin for Ice Giant. Parasite, good removal. Removal is good. Bombs, bombs are removal. Removal is good in this meta. Um, Purify is good against Shield. Very good against Hefty Helge, which is a very common card in Nilfgaard right now. Northern Wind allows you to banish. Banishing is good against Commandos. Uh, Peller, <coughs> excuse me, Peller, uh, the gameplay I have for you today actually doesn't have Peller. I was playing a different card. Um, I was playing Flutter, this card right here. Uh, the downside with Flutter right now is Muzzle is really, really popular. So when you play Flutter and you consume, uh, it's what, for Vitality, I believe. So they usually muzzle this because you don't really have any other muzzle targets and it feels really bad. So yeah. You give your opponent, what, a 16-point muzzle instead of, like, a 10-point muzzle. So I cut the card. I decided to add Peller just because get, your, your Flutter getting muzzled feels really bad. So um, the gameplay will have Flutter, but the deck is a little better with Peller instead. Uh, Peller has extra value uh, against Syndicate because of Bounty. You can knock off Kira Boost, uh, the vitality that she gives. It also works well with Ancient Foglet. You can remove the Doomed and then eat Foglet again for additional value. Necker Warrior. It's a decent card. You play it, it might get Thrive, it might not. It's okay. I mean, the rest of the cards in the list here are basically just fours because, well, you have to play fours because your your, your list is uh, Garnacora who has low provisions uh, and you are playing some uh, uh, a good chunk of golds in the list. So, uh, I mean, are any of these worth talking about? Kiko, if you've ever played a deck with Kiko, you know that either it dies and it gets no value or you play it and it just gets tons of value. I think I had a game today where I Kikoed like eight times in a round and it was absolutely insane. So this card just has the potential to be crazy with your leader. So it's just a good card. Uh, Neckers. Neckers are okay right now in this meta just because uh, dealing one damage is actually kind of hard with the exception of um, Nilfgaard with the Fire Scorpions. If they open with that, the Neckers are pretty bad. So against Nilfgaard, I typically mulligan Neckers because... Most of the Nilfgaard lists are running um, Portal right now because Hyper Thinning is pretty good in Nilfgaard. Uh, sometimes very good. Um, but most other lists, Neckers actually survive. So like against Usurper, Nilfgaard, that's not running um, Portal. Typically the lists that don't run Portal are like Usurper. Yeah, I guess Usurper. Yeah, probably just Usurper. Maybe M here, depending on the M here list. Um, so yeah. Uh, these cards were, or Neckers were pretty bad in the past simply because, uh, Scoia'tael was seeing a lot of play, but there's not a ton of Scoia'tael at the moment. Uh, so Neckers are pretty good. They're just okay. Um, yeah. So, idea with the deck, typically you'd like to win round one. You don't have to win round one because this deck doesn't really get punished in round two if it's bled. Uh, do keep in mind, if you're going into round three into, a, like, a super heavy engine deck, it might be difficult to deal with. Uh, you do have a good chunk of removal. Two bombs, Parasite, Regis, Cleaver, uh, one of the crones, Queen of the Night. It doesn't really count. Uh, Shoop, right? You, you do have a good chunk of removal, so you, you shouldn't be too worried about a few engines. But if they're playing, like, ten engines... You might be in trouble, so do keep that in mind. Bleeding is typically going to be something that you want to do, especially because you have Gurnacor as a leader. So, uh, yeah, if you've been looking for a monster deck and you've been sad this patch because monsters is pretty abysmal, well, I suggest you give Gurnacor a try. Uh, Gurnacor Shoop is just good enough to uh, kind of hold its own. Once again, by no means a tier 1 deck, but it's it's a decent tier 2 deck, maybe, maybe like a high tier 3 deck. We'll see. Um, yeah. Hope you guys enjoy the gameplay. And I'll see you guys on the next video. I deserve better.
It's kind of funny to see the progression of Ardol over the past couple months. He went from a leader that saw zero play to a leader that's like tier one. I guess you could say the same thing about Northern Realms. But more, right, so like Ardol went from unplayable on release and he slightly got better every patch. Last patch, uh, he was actually okay. And then this patch kind of pushed him over the edge into tier one viability. And Northern Realms was kind of just like shit other than Hensold and then Um, if I don't mind Cyclopsing this, then we kill this and then kill this. I guess it technically doesn't matter. I could banish this, but if I banish this, it means I can't win the round, so... Probably not ideal. Are you proud to win MO with MO? I mean... Cancels out, right? I guess it doesn't really matter. Come on, guys. Calm down. Why, you play Dead Faction? Um, it's good to play everything. Just in general. Typically a pretty good thing, especially when you're a streamer. Playing only one faction. <clears throat> like that uh, weird Squirtle player. Uh, it's typically not ideal. Because people like seeing variety. As rich coming from someone who only streams one game. <clears throat> you know some kind of good Aunt Dana deck? Yeah, I played a... Uh... Portal Dana deck. It was working pretty well. I, I heard a couple people hit like pro rank with it. It's pretty decent. Ugh. That's a problem. Meh. Maybe we can force a muzzle here. Is it hard to get into the new version of Gwent? No. It's still very free-to-play friendly, and if you used to play before, you probably have a good chunk of scraps lying around. Okay. Surprised he didn't ping. How many points is this? 13? Gameplay wise, yeah, gameplay wise, it's not too hard. You'll be able to pick it up within. You are not. I don't know. Just be careful. Syndicate is super strong right now. If you queue into Dijkstra, um, you basically have to two O them. Just yeah, keep that in mind. Uh, otherwise, you're gonna lose by a lot your first time. So yeah, um, so that that matchup is kind of rough. Full test is kind of rough. Other than those two matchups, everything else is doable. How much is this? 13, 17, 18, 22. Yeah, I think we're passing.
I hit pro rank when a DJ player forfeited as soon as he heard my usurper say, I shall make Nilfgaard great again. That's pretty funny. I mean, ideally he bleeds us. Getting bled with this deck is really good. But I don't think he will. He'll just dry pass. Probably gonna lose a lot regardless. Thanks, though. Um... Wow, he almost cut it off. I would suggest playing... Um, I mean, you can play DJ Syndicate if you want, um, but if you don't want to play that, play Full Test is good. Calanthe, Northern Realms is really good. Uh, if you're looking for a fun list, this list is really fun. And it can 2-0... Uh, it can 2-0... Whatever, whatever it's called. Dijkstra. That's a fun deck. I can't kill it. I mean, I could Shoop Charm it, but Shoop Charming a 4 is pretty bad. It's not really a 4. Yeah, but still, it doesn't change the fact that Shoop Charming it is pretty bad. Queen plus Four, Regis? Two, That's now. a lot. I'm losing three damage to do that. I mean, regardless, I still want to play this because I want to start the bleeding early. A lot of the times I wait too long on this card. It's a value card that needs to be played early as a nine for seven. Problem is I lose points on Griffin, but whatever. Isn't full test better than DJ? Yep. Because a lot of people are learning how to 2-0. So because everybody's 2-0-ing now, uh, full test, or sorry, DJ isn't that good. Or sorry, DJ is still really good, but like the bounty variants are sometimes better than like the point slam. It, it depends, of course, what you're playing against. All right, if you're playing against a control deck. Aw, oh, that's interesting. I guess we're not registering it. How does the machine bleed? <laughs> I don't know. Have you seen those trees that bleed? Maybe the machine is made out of wood from those kinds of trees that can bleed. That's all I got for you. <laughs> It rusts? Yeah, I guess rust would be pretty close to bleeding. It's crew are bleeding? Yeah, the crew that operates the machine are bleeding. Nice. <laughs> Don't we have Cleaver in the deck? Yeah, I should probably be looking for Cleaver. Because Cleaver is going to be Potato next turn. Okay. What was the other card? I, I snap clicked it too quickly. I think it was Wispus. I guess it doesn't really matter what it is. Dude, he really wants this thing to live. Jeez. <laughs> I mean, I... It makes sense. We might actually win this game. I said that the best way to win this game is to get blood, and he bled us, so we're kind of in a really good spot. Use one more engine, because I think I banished the other. Yeah. Is 
Can we play Eldane? If Eldane didn't suck, I'd play him, but he's really bad. I've tried all the variants. I can't get anything to work. The problem is, you queue into full test, you just lose. Could, like, ping Ardol. Why is he bleeding me? I don't know. It's a good question. I guess the idea is his late game is super strong because of, uh... Like a three card, four card, round three with like high value because of uh, hyper thin. But yeah, he's gonna lose a card unless he blows later. Is he gonna do it? Oh, muzzle? What is this? A sire. Yeah, okay. I kind of want to save this for the engine next turn. Can you share the Dana deck? Yeah, I can share the Dana deck after this game. We'll play Goli out next turn. Okay, next round. Okie dokie. Uh, we're looking for cards that do damage so that I can deny- We're looking for these two cards. I can play that. Two tourney joust, two assassinations. Yeah, okay, sure. I think I can play this. What if I play Goliath and then Brewis it? I mean, it denies thir- okay, so he guarantee gets to 13 on Zarth anyways. And then we deny the yen value, so we save 13 points. Right? I think. This seems right. I- 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 He'll play assassination later. Yeah, he plays three assassination. Okay, maybe. If you say so. He burns you with Vogue? Yeah, that's the same thing. If he wants a Zarth early, he's more than welcome to. I'll just shoot destroy. Wait, 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 wait. This is highest... Yeah, it's highest unit, okay. Not highest P. Because it could pull Vilgoforts in theory. How does he thin the last card out of his deck? Oh, he has to play the two-point card. At some point. Don't Playing it now. Why not charm? Because it can charm my own side of the board to his side of the board and I lose points. So there's a crack line. I mean, technically, if he wanted to play around Shoop, he was supposed to Ardle last turn. Yeah, so consuming this isn't correct anymore. That's for his Vogo Forts. Yen? Yeah, but he'll Vogo Forts my Brewis. I don't know, like we saved 13. 
I guess it is worth it. Cause then he can't Volga for he can't Volga for it, sis. So because he played a one point Papaya. Now he can't Vilgi the one. I mean, he can, it's just nothing will happen. So he'll Vilgi this now, which kind of sucks, but whatever. We say the Yen just went to zero, which is kind of nice. It's pretty big Vilgi. Maybe we'll get lucky and hit like a Ron Warrior. I'm not gonna risk it. If I eat and it pings the foglet, we're gonna be sad. We're all dressed up just for you. Not gonna risk it. So we'll say that it was all according to plan and we debated him into losing uneven. So that he'd bleed us and lose the game. Cause I knew he was running Regis from last year. I knew. Uh-huh. I knew. Music? What about it? Is it too soft? I had to... I had to mess up... Uh, not mess up, but I had to change a bunch of my settings on my computer because... When I plugged in the screen, like, it has... I don't know. I think it has speakers somewhere, but, like... It screwed up all my audio settings on everything. So that was kind of annoying. But I think it's fixed. Oh, what is the music? I don't know. I should get another monitor. I just need to buy more monitors. I want to stack two ultra-wide monitors on each other. I don't know if I could buy a stand that will support this monitor. It's pretty big. You know what's nice about this monitor? If I'm feeling tilted, we can experience it together. Living souls in your wake shall ne'er dare you to the same. Oh, even placing cards is weird. So the screen actually could turn all the way around. It's just, you know, the, the cam will fall off. Evil's not going anywhere. A monitor, monitor should be above or below. What, like your line of sight? Everything that I've read, your eye line, your eye should be above your monitor, which means I should be like this. But like, it's so low. I don't know. I don't know what the correct thing is to do. We'll never know. I'm a dwarf of business. Any Scoia deck viable against DJ? Yeah, the deck that I played the other day. The other day, like two weeks ago. Uh, I made, so Elf, well, the Elf deck is good and the Ethnic Control deck with Gurney and, not Gurney, uh, Gigney and Pro works well. What are you doing, lad? Looking down is unhealthier for your neck. Yeah, but looking up is also bad for your neck. And I'm pretty sure it's better to look down than to look up. Is it Synthwave? Yeah, oh, it's called Atmosphere Chill Out Mix, a.k.a. Synthwave. Just put fancy names on the same thing. I think we play Nagplar here. Whatever we hit, I'm happy. If we hit Shoop, we don't play it. Just play the other card. Now we have Shoop Topkek. 
normie wave. Does he not have Flying Redanian? I don't know. I've been holding his card for it, but it doesn't look like he has it. I mean, I guess I'm banishing it. Is there any new, I guess? Saw Bushwick playing a DJ deck and complain about his DJ's Philippa that stole his boat. <laughs> Imagine complaining while playing Syndicate. Oh lol. The cards look so much more vibrant. Huh. That can't be the... I don't know. I don't know. Something about it. The, the colors are nicer. Deepest, darkest dreams. I can make them real. Maybe the board? No, no, no. It's the monitor because when I play this same game on my other monitor, it doesn't look like this. It's a nicer monitor. It's definitely the monitor. The colors just seem to pop more. Okay. I'll never be Wait, you don't steal this? This card's gonna sh All right. I don't care. More points for me. Kiko is the worst engine in the game. I mean, it's already provided tall value for me. Saying that this is the worst engine in the game is kind of papiga, isn't it? You gotta go three more. There you go. Good lad. What is this deck? It's a Gurney uh, Shoop deck. It's not enough, right? If I go Resilience and hit it, it's worth 8 plus 3 is 11. Puts me at 47. I think I just saved Shoop. I mean, my the Shoop should be worth more than his whatever card is in hand. What's up? I'm doing good. 
We're playing, uh, I'm playing Gwent. I have a different setup today, which is interesting. That's a good draw. Plumber is a six. It's fine. Nice. Picture of setup. Um, new monitor. Old ultra wide monitor. Twenty seven. Yeah, this is a twenty seven. My ultra wide is a thirty six, I think. I don't know. This twenty seven feels small. Because I've had the ultra wide right here all this time, and now it's just it feels like a, a smul smulsk smulskabine. The ones at the store, they had like a 23 and like a 22 inch screens, and I was like, yeah, there's no way. 20, 27 already feels on the small side. No, we'll play other decks. I'm not going to only play Gurney today. That, that would be... No, not going to do that. Nothing turns my guts more than a filthy mage. I'd have done it better, but anyway, congratulations. Oh, it's like 50%? Yeah, that sounds about right. Either happens or it doesn't. Rest in peace. Oh, it's a different trap. <laughs> Kakado with the 15 months. Welcome back, lad. Thank you. Long time. Da. Reddit loves Usurper. I wouldn't say they love them. Some of them are okay with him simply because of the oppressive DJ meta. But like once the DJ meta disappeared, I don't think love is going to be the word that this, they use to describe Usurper. you play 7p Ice Giant? No, but I could play him instead of Griffin. You can do either or. Usurper is a necessary evil? I mean, yeah, I guess. <laughs> no if the balance isn't gonna be, well, balanced when it comes out, you just play Usurper, right? Why do you kill this? I don't understand. Seems kind of silly to me. Mm. Your blood smells. Play the Thrives on the back in case he has Trebs. What's with the title? It means that we're Blood playing Gwen. Which part do you not understand? Why does he keep killing the fruit? I don't get it. Does he not understand? It just keeps coming Your back for more? I can make I, whatever. I, I'm not gonna try to make sense of it. Aren't giants strictly These better? No um, perhaps. You should kill the fruit again, just for funsies. Kill the fruit. No. The fruit. Yeah, probably. Because it is unconditional. Yeah, because we're not running ghouls, it is probably better. That's a good point. I should probably change that. May your blade never dull. May your hand never waver. Fucking 
Good thing nobody plays right in. Nice. Thong name? Sure. Are the commanders? Yeah, I was just thinking of that. I'm hoping to draw Regis here. Regis or Bomby Boy? Proactive. No Bomby Boy. Pepe hands. Is there any deck in the game where this list doesn't bleed? I mean, I guess Hyrule Shoop Usurper. You can try to win other than that. I don't know, we should probably take the full value on Carlo. It's kind of weird that it kills us, but like, whatever. Salutations. If not for Usurper keeping DJ and full test in check, we'd have a meta of nothing but mirror. Yeah, right. So like, I, I think Usurper is probably probably a necessary evil. Why did you kill Ronvid? I didn't, the Ron Warrior did. Else must die. Bloody non humans. It would have put the bloody fuck you. Might as well push it, right? I don't want to ping this, I don't think. I get a free point off of Ron, but the free point doesn't matter. What I'm worried about is like playing Prince on the front row and hitting this by four. Whereas if we leave the front row capped, it means he can't damage my shoop. Which is kind of nice. Or did he play Prince in round one? No. His hand is Pavetta and something else. It's probably like Pavetta Drog. Yeah.
There's like three or four golds in my deck. Jeez, come on, pumpkin. And two bombs. There's six good cards in my deck. I'm so bad at drawing. Holy shit. Never Rocky Baby Rage. This guy drew just a bunch of gold cards. Good for him, I guess. <laughs> Watch his last card be like Vincent. Oh, I guess it wasn't Vincent. <laughs> okay.